Okay, Pisces, I'm coming for you. And this is for August 2023. We are more than a halfway through the year. Aren't we all excited? Don't forget, I am putting this up in July. So if you are seeing this now, which I'm sure you are, number one, please don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe. I'm almost at a thousand subscribers. Once I hit that thousand, stuff changes and I get to do all sorts of really cool things and uh, YouTube stops gatekeeping all the algorithms. So if you can hit that subscribe, you will get a free reading every month for the rest of your life. And the other thing I want you to know is in July, I have a sale on readings. So we're going back to the prices before the price hike. Remember, remember those good old days when we just thought COVID was over and before the price of everything went through the roof? Well, we're going back to those prices. So if you just have to let me know, my phone number is right down below. You just have to text me. Uh, let me know you want a reading and say, hey, I saw your deal, your Christmas in July. And there you go. You'll get that. And then if you get spell work that day, you'll get an extra 10% off the reading price. So you'll actually get 20% off, which is so awesome, you know, so great. Uh, I'm going to be doing little sales throughout the week, and then I'll have big sales also. So there you go. Uh, let's see what's going on for you right now, Pisces. Okay much better month. Okay. So August is going to be way, way, way better. Uh, if you had some, it looks like early spring, you had some things go in a not great direction. You had something that you thought was going to go correct. This could be job. This could be health. This could be love. This could be money. You thought some, and it, and it didn't happen that way, but it actually was for your better, your best good. If that makes sense your, for your, for your higher good. That was okay. Now I'm going to tell you August is and almost every reading I've done so far for August has had this like recoup month. You're also going to have it. It says you don't have to be strong this month. You do not need to be. So don't feel like you have to um, be there for everybody, be the emotional support, be everything for everyone. Okay. Um, I always say this, you know, uh, Pisces and cancer. I say this to everybody that comes across me that is a Pisces or a cancer, um, almost the same sign, except cancers are emotive outward and Pisces are, are emotional inward. So this is a month where don't, don't give your energy away. Don't give your power away. Definitely keep it and recoup some of it for yourself. This might just be a quiet month. A lot of signs are having a quiet month right now. And this, um, the hero found in the middle, is I, I, some people call him the Pope, it, it's different decks, but in my deck, he's the hero fan. Um, this is, stop giving your wisdom away. Stop helping everybody else with their problems. Just work on you, work on you and your issues, okay? And then it says, this is a month where don't freak out that she's crying because it is a nine card. It is a completion card. So just know that you're going to be working through some things this month, but get them done and get them over with. Like just kind of just plow through. The only way out is through. Okay. So plow through them. This is going to be a good month to um, be a little bit solitary, hang out inside your your safe place. Your safe place might be the gym. It might be your house. It might be a bookstore. Hang out and just insulate a little bit. Just worry about you. Do things that you love. Go places you love. Take yourself out for dinner. It doesn't have to be, oh, I'm alone on a Friday night. You know, no, take yourself out for a date. You really get to know you this month and that's going to be the best advice I can give you. Now, if you do that, September, October look excellent. It literally shows in September things are going to balance out for you. And so any strife or any weirdness that you had in July and August, it's going to come, you're going to start to kind of pull out of it, right? So that, so whenever we're in a valley, you know, we have to climb out. That's the September is going to be the, the things are going to be slowly getting better. And then in October, it says that there is a healing. So if you have a job issue right now, or you have a love situation, if you have something going on that you're like, oh shit, I don't, I don't really want to be dealing with this right now. Just know that by October, it's going to be looking a lot, a lot, a lot better for you. All right. Now, if you like, I'm going to do your Astro Dice too. So hang in there. Don't, don't click off yet. But if you do like this, please subscribe because I just saw on my algorithm, like 93% of people that watch me aren't subscribed. If you can help me out and subscribe down below are the links to my store. And you can always just text me and get a hold of me. Those of you that have done that, please, you know, write some comments down below and say, you know, it's pretty easy to get a hold of me. Um, I'm responsive. I'll help you out. If you just need help with X, Y, and Z, I can help you shop at my Etsy store. We can go over some options for you. And there you go. So don't forget about that Christmas and July sale. 
Let's see. These are available in my store also. So you're going to want to check these out. These are the Astro Dice. These are super, super, super cool. And I'm going to be doing them. I have my cheat sheet right here. And when you get them in my store, you get the Astro Dice, you get some um, Psychic Vision Oil, and you get the cheat sheet in this beautiful organza bag. I said organza. But keep your mind out of the gutter. So let's see what's going on for Pisces for your... Okay, so ninth house, Gemini, and... Let's see, is that Venus or Mars? It's Venus. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. I haven't had any caffeine today. Okay. So ninth house, again, you get this cheat sheet with mine. It's not banged up like mine. It looks actually nice and new. So ninth house is all about, yeah, it's going to be journeys. It's going to be education. It's going to be philosophy. It's going to be inspiration. That's where you're going right now. This is for you. This is for you. This is not for you to be giving it away, Pisces. Don't give your energy away this month to anybody else. Please, please, please promise me you won't. Okay, this is all about you. Go on your own self-care journey. You have to so that in September and October, you're going to have all this fabulous stuff happen to you. So all of this is happening in Gemini. So what is Gemini all about? Communication. Your, your two natures. You have the outward persona. Pisces is... How do I say this nicely? Pisces is naturally, naturally, you know, um, uh, introverted. But you do have this public face. You have this public face you can put on for a certain amount of time. Okay. And you can do it for a long time. You can, you can do it even for months if you need to. But there's this introvert in you that needs to just come home, close the curtains, put the slippers on and, and not deal with all that stress. That is what this is about. Honor that side of you. Because a lot of times I think you push through that side of you and you really work to make other people happy, but you're not making yourself happy. So really honor the dual nature that you have. And that's, there's nothing wrong with that. There's, I mean, I'm not saying like, oh, you're, uh, you're dual natured. Like you're, you're like, you're, you know, not in a bad way, but it's, we all have those two sides to ourselves. Okay. We really, really do. So you're going to want to honor that this month. You're going to want to develop a new philosophy, a new niche for yourself, a new model of self-care, okay? A new thing that's going to be, this is what really inspires me. This is just for me. It's not for anybody else. You're not doing it to please anybody else. You're not doing it to keep up with the Joneses. You're not doing it to please your partner or please your boss, okay? And all of this is happening in Venus. So this, this is about love, but your romance life I'm seeing is going to get back on track, but this month it's going to be very female energy, super female oriented this month. Um, anything. And here's the thing I, you know, the astrology and the tarot cards were all happened before the, the, um, different, uh, you know, gender fluidity and all that good stuff. So when I see Venus energy, whatever the female means to you. I'm not going to sit here and dictate politics. I've had some people like say like, well, I'm not, I'm not dictating politics. I'm saying female energy. We all know what that is. That is like a, um, a more soft energy. It is a receivership energy. It is a nurturing energy. Okay. However you want to express that in your life, or you want to express that to your partner, or you can even express that at work. Don't be scared to be the nurturing one at work. That's totally fine. That doesn't mean that you're going to be a doormat. That is not at all what that means. Actually, a lot of times, if you're the nurturing one, everybody comes and tells you their secrets, and then you got dirt on everybody. So that's even great too. So that is what you need to know, Pisces, for the month of August. Please get a hold of me with anything else you need. Um, if you have specific questions down below, I have text message readings available also. If you want a quick hit, you just want to like get in, get out. Um, those are available on the store or you can text me and I'll, I'll send you a link. Also the Christmas in July readings. I do have to invoice you for those because I'm not changing um, the prices on my website because I want you to mention, hey, I saw this and I would like the better price. And you get that 10% off. And then if you get spell work, you get the additional 10%, which makes it 20%. So anything you need. I have wonderful products. I'm going to be finishing up the reconciliation products, uh, getting those all reconfigured and, and, and new and redone on the website. Also hit up my Mercari. I have a ton of stuff going up on there. So Etsy is just for Mama Delia stuff, just for homemade hoodoo stuff. And you can get a lot of things on there. Mercari is my overflow of makeup, nails, skincare, stuff like that. Because when I, as you see, when I, and I don't have my ring on today. So yet some people have texted me and, and mentioned my ring. I, I was making, um, 
was making cake earlier and uh, oh my god this recipe for cake uh, so good if you guys want it it's this whipped cream cake it's really good anyway so I didn't want to um get smudge on it but yeah, I'm sure in one of my other videos they'll be on but these nails holy crap holy um these are a vintage set don't forget I have a ton of very hard to find vintage nails go through my Mercari if you are a nail girl please let me know I literally have a storeroom full of nails because when I find a set I like I buy 10 of them so I will pass those savings on to you um so my Mercari's that's also getting updated the reconciliation section of Etsy is getting updated um next week i'm gonna be redoing all the sugar daddy stuff so that's always good too that's you know want to keep an eye out for that and i am launching it will be most likely it could be august it could be september i am launching a whole entire series of zodiac products so there's going to be like an aries soap salt candle and wash uh, an oil. There's going to be a uh, Gemini, you know, a Virgo one, a Sagittarius one. So I'm going to be launching those one at a time. And that's probably going to be, uh, I'm, I'm working on getting all that together and getting the packaging together. It is going to be very, very limited edition. I think there's going to be about five of each thing. So there's going to be like five Aries oils, five Aries salts, five Aries votives. So you're definitely if you like it do not do not sleep on it okay because it's going to be a limited edition and then i'm going to go on to the next sign and the next sign the next sign so get those when you get a chance i think i've talked your ear off enough pisces thank you so much for hanging in there with me and go ahead don't forget to subscribe to all my different social media because that's where the flash sales will come in on instagram on facebook tiktok all that good stuff you can find me there and i'll have flash sales coming up along with so it's not just christmas in july the, I will also have flash sales. So you get lots of sales this month because, hey, it's the middle of the year. Spend some money. Talk to you soon. Have a great day, Pisces.